Welcome, my friends, to the Saturday edition of the God Minute, dedicated to and focused on our Blessed Mother Mary. I'm Father Michael, and it's my privilege to invite you into this moment of prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. Holy Mother Mary, seat of wisdom and cause of our joy, be our intercessor, our advocate, and our peace. Turn your ear and listen to us. O Holy Queen, reign in our hearts. Be our sure and certain guide as we strive to empty ourselves of all that keeps us from your Son. Be our rescuer when we go astray. Be our model when we reach out to others. Keep us close to you and lead us always to your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Revelation, chapter 12, verses 1 through 5. A great sign appeared in the sky, a woman clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet, and on her head a crown of twelve stars. She was with child, and wailed aloud in pain as she labored to give birth. Then another sign appeared in the sky. It was a huge red dragon with seven heads and ten horns, and on its heads were seven diadems. Its tail swept, swept away a third of the stars in the sky and hurled them down to the earth. Then the dragon stood before the woman about to give birth, to devour her child when she gave birth. She gave birth to a son, a male child destined to rule all the nations with an iron rod. Her child was caught up to God and his throne. The woman herself fled into the desert where she had a place prepared by God. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Brothers and sisters, today for our reflection, we've invited Justin to give us his reflection on this beautiful prayer of Hail, Holy Queen. For today's reflection on Mary, I would like to focus on one of my favorite Marian prayers. Hail, Holy Queen. If you haven't heard it in a while, it goes like this. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To you do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To you do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, your eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Isn't that beautiful? The first time I stumbled on this prayer was in the rosary. I truly believe it is such a wonderful ending to the meditation on the mysteries of our faith. Last Lent, I made the promise to myself to pray the rosary every day. While I may not have been as success successful as I would like to admit, I can say that I took away two major things from this prayer. The first is turn then most gracious advocate. I love these words because I think they give a wonderful insight into the life of our Holy Mother. She stands in heaven with Jesus and offers us the gift of her advocacy to the Father and her Son. I think one of the most common misconceptions about Catholics is that we worship Mary. But this could not be further from the truth. We go to her for guidance during our life. I like to think of it as Mary putting in a good word for me upstairs. I don't know about the rest of you, but I feel like I can use all the help I can get. My second line that I appreciate and have really has really stuck with me in this prayer is the concluding line. 
Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Aren't we all trying to reach the promises that Christ has given us? He gives us the gift of himself and his kingdom when he died on the cross. I want to achieve these promises so badly, but I know I can't do it alone. That is why it is so essential to ask Mary to pray for me as I look to complete this challenge. Our loving mother is able to intercede on our behalf as we strive for the promises Christ has given us. On this Saturday, sisters and brothers, let us renew our devotion to Mary. Let us go to her this week and ask for her help. Let us follow the beautiful example she set for us on earth and go to her in intercession that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Together we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he let his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May he look upon you with kindness and give you peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thanks everyone for joining us in prayer today. Thanks so much, Justin, for your reflection today on that beautiful prayer of the Hail Holy Queen, which we're going to listen to a sung version of that prayer as we conclude. If you're interested in adding the rosary to your prayer routine, check out our YouTube channel, by searching the God Minute on YouTube and simply click the Playlists button and select the Pray Along videos. As we conclude, I just want to once again thank you all for joining us in prayer. May the Lord bless your day. We look forward to our time together in prayer tomorrow. God bless. So